Hey everyone, it's Kevin. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to tell you the eight foods that you should never eat if you're a binge eater. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video and check out some of my free resources below. And don't forget to check out the Empowered Eating System, my signature program that I just released. These are some of the foods that I have binged on in my life. And I'm sure these are familiar foods to you. You've probably binged on at least one of these. Everybody has different tastes. Every episode is different. Everybody has different predilections. Some people binge on ice cream, others don't. Some people binge on trail mix, others don't. We all have different tastes and preferences. We like different textures. Some foods elicit different memories. Uh, some foods elicit different neurotransmitter release. These foods aren't addictive per se. They just have a lot of fat, a lot of sugar, and they make us feel better temporarily. There is a certain appeal to these foods. They provide that escape. We can numb out whenever we want. But then at the end, we're left with the bill. I've made plenty of other videos before about binge eating. You should go back and watch. So this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I'm not saying you should never eat these foods again. In fact, you can successfully reincorporate these foods into your diet if you do it the right way. And I'll show you that in my program. Remember, I'm not trying to trivialize binge eating. It is a huge problem. A lot of people are dealing with it. We live in this world where food is freely available. Vending machines and parties and grocery stores and gas stations. Everywhere you go, they're serving food. And I'm not trying to make turn this into a joke. This channel is educational and entertaining after all. But those were my most common binge foods. And you're probably a little different. So it doesn't matter what you're binging on. You need to take action. You need to fix this problem. You need to get help. Maybe it's me, maybe somebody else. I don't care. Find somebody, find a therapist, find a coach, somebody who can show you how to stop binge eating on all this fat and all the sugar. What are the foods you should never binge on? Let's take a look. The first one I have is chips. Okay, actually I didn't buy these. I pilfered these from a party that I went to. It was one of those giant I don't know, one and a half, two pound bags is like way too much. So I took these, I was like, oh, I need these for the video. So I took them. Chips are so, I don't wanna say addictive, but for lack of a better word, they are addictive. They've got oil, they've got salt, they've got starch, they're crunchy, you can eat them out of the bag. You can have them with guacamole, you can have them with salsa, they're just so good. Like when you're watching a sporting event and you just keep eating them, or when you go to the Mexican restaurant and you have a whole basket of chips before they bring the enchiladas and the rice and you're already full, ugh. So chips are so versatile and so easy to overconsume. Um, you might want to take a break from these just for a while. All right, now that we've had something crunchy and salty, let's get something that's smooth and creamy. And you know what it is. It's ice cream. I'm sorry to pick on Ben and Jerry's. This is brownie batter core. I wasn't even paying attention um, when I bought it. So if you're looking for low-cal options, this is not the version for you. I'm not even going to look at the nutrition label. Um, because it is Vermont's finest, which means it has maximum cream and maximum fat and maximum sugar. You know it. I never really liked Ben & Jerry's. I just bought this because I didn't want to waste more ice cream than I needed to. My favorite was always cherry vanilla and salted caramel. So thank you, Briars. In fact, I probably still have some of that ice cream that I binged on on my body somewhere. Ben & Jerry's is interesting because they use good ingredients and they don't skimp on flavor. I actually like this kind of ice cream more than stuff like Halo or the low-cal options. If you're gonna eat ice cream, just eat ice cream and get go all out. You know, don't don't cheat yourself with the low sugar and the low-fat ice cream. Just get the real ice cream. Hagen Dazs, Ben and Jerry's. Uh, if you live in Texas, Bluebell is another option too. All right, let's keep going. What do you have for breakfast? Rolled oats? No. You have cereal, yay, look how fun it looks. You have these, um, I don't know what these are, they're like cinnamon toast monsters. Back in the day, they used to have that chef on the box, or maybe that was a different cereal that I'm thinking of, whatever. And then they've got the smiley face. So some of some food advocates don't like this because it appeals to kids. They've even passed laws in some countries because they don't want cartoon characters on cereal boxes because then the kids will be like, oh, look at the cartoon characters. Mommy, mommy, can we buy that? And then the moms, they just can't take it anymore, so they just buy the cereal. 
There are so many different cereals. The cereal aisle is one of my favorite aisles to go down because they have so many different flavors. They have um, Twinkie cereal now. Like, who would want to eat Twinkie cereal? Who, which genius at General Mills or whichever company made it thought, oh, let's have Twinkie cereal. That would be really cool to make. I don't even think it tastes like Twinkies. So maybe I'll buy it at some point. But yeah, this was my favorite cereal. It still is my favorite cereal. Um, I don't eat it much anymore because I'm not 16 and I don't want to binge. <laughs> um, I have rolled oats. I'll make a video pretty soon on what I actually eat during the day, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I've had plenty of experiences with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, Reese's Peanut Butter cereal is another good one. And of course, you can't forget granola. Granola is also there. Granola just sounds healthier. I don't know why. Um, you can get like the protein clusters. Those were those were pretty good. I like those Kashi. I don't even, do they even make Kashi anymore? But that was like back in the day. But granola is also a great binge food. I mean, great. I mean, it's like fun to eat. Not saying you should eat a lot of it. Granola is a condiment. It's not something that you eat out of the bag. So be careful. All right, let's keep going here. What else do I have in here? Oh, yes, I have a donut. Yay! Speaking of breakfast, of course, you can have a donut any time of the day. Um, I don't know, where did I get this one? This one looks like one of those buttered donuts. It kind of got uh, smashed a little bit in the car. Let's open it. See, look at that. Ooh, look at that, it's good. Man, that is, that's a lot of sugar, holy smokes. But uh, yeah, donuts are, they're just terrible for your health. I hate to say it, I hate to demonize foods, but this is just, anything deep fried and nasty oil is just, it's not gonna be good for your, cardiovascular system so really minimize the donuts i would say minimize all the baked goods and i was walking through the baked good section and they had pies and cakes and donuts and muffins and whatever else i mean baked goods are baked goods you should only have those on special occasions you know fun times you know anything that's high in flour and sugar and oil <laughs> that's a that's a deadly trifecta so just kind of keep it to a minimum uh, it's not something you should eat every day. You should not be stopping at the donut shop on the way to work. Let's keep going here. What else did I find? All right, this one, I hesitated a little bit on this one because some people might think it's healthy, but it's energy bars. I've had probably 5,000 energy bars in my life. Seriously. Um, I would eat them by the box. I would even have the protein ones. This is one of those protein ones. I think this is like a Cliff Builders one. It's a good bar. It's just, it's really manufactured, it's really processed. It usually has a lot of sugar and a lot of other stuff in it. You don't need protein bars, okay? As much as I like protein bars, I have weaned myself off of them because for the reasons I just described, you don't need it. If you need protein, eat more, okay? Have more soy if you're vegan. Have more quinoa, beans, whatever. Have more um, grass-fed meat or fish, you know, like whatever your protein source is. I just have a protein shake at night, that, that tends to work with me. But these are just glorified cookies. They take cookie bars and they put a little protein in it and say, oh, it's really healthy now. It's not. So only eat these when they're really convenient and there's nothing else to eat. Like when you're traveling and you want something with a better macronutrient profile, maybe consider one of these snack bars. I'm not just referring to the Cliff Bars. There are a hundred different brands now. I can't even keep track of them anymore. Um, but these are really easy binge food, okay? So you might want to stop eating these. All right, let's keep going here. What else do we have? All right, so this is another bar, but it doesn't pretend to be healthy, and it's chocolate. This is a Cadbury. Okay? I almost never have Cadbury bars. Milk chocolate and creamy caramel. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I don't know, it just looks delicious. John Carberry opened his first store in 1824. Great. I think this is like a British chocolate bar. I don't see it too much here, but they have so many different chocolate bars. They have Ghirardelli, which isn't too far from here. Um, what's that one? Like Ferro or something? I don't know. I forget all the different brands. Dark chocolate's a little better. It has some antioxidants and it's supposedly a little healthier, but you can still easily overeat that. It's high in fat and has a little bit of sugar. So you might want to break off a couple of squares and keep it at that. If you can't, then just avoid it altogether. But yeah, chocolate is always a great nighttime food. It is easy to binge on, high in fat, high in sugar. So proceed with caution. 
All right, now we have candy bars. Okay, this is my favorite Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I've probably had several thousand of these too. Uh, but it's just a combination of chocolate, peanut butter, and convenience is a great mix. Um, so congratulations to whoever invented this. It's kind of like the Cadbury bar. Cadbury was just chocolate, so I'm just trying to show you a popular chocolate bar. There's Snickers, there's Milky Way, there's Almond Joy, there's... I used to eat M&Ms a lot too, especially the ones with peanut butter or the caramel in them. Those were amazing. So you can eat these maybe on Halloween and just once in a while. Uh, or maybe just one or two cups for dessert. Although I'm sure you can find other desserts that are a little healthier. But yeah, extremely palatable, extremely rewarding, very addictive. Um, yeah, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. What's your favorite candy? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, and speaking of peanut butter, we have peanut butter. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not very processed. It's actually very simple. What is this? This is peanuts, cane sugar. Oh, they put a little sugar in there. Palm oil, salt. All right, that's pretty simple. It is no hydrogenated oils, which is good to know. And it's 90% peanuts, fantastic. The thing about peanut butter is it's really high in fat. It's really creamy. It's got that great texture, easy to overeat. You just, you can sit there and be like, and the next thing you know, you're down to here. Like, oh my gosh. So I used to binge on this a lot, a lot. My favorite was when I took a Cliff Bar and then I dunked it in the peanut butter. Yeah, I used to do that. Um, the chocolate peanut butter is okay. Nutella is way too sugary for me. I never got into Nutella. Uh, but they also have like chocolate brands, like chocolate peanut butter and almond butter. Cashew butter is okay. Sunflower seed butter, you can get that at Trader Joe's. That's really good. Um, but just, uh, it goes to show you that even though it's not processed, it can be really easy to binge on. It's really rich, really thick, really creamy. I can see the appeal because I have eaten my share of jars of peanut butter. Just because it's healthy and unprocessed doesn't mean you can't binge on it and doesn't mean it can't hurt you. Okay, so peanut butter, terrible binge food. Hey, I am down to my last binge food and it is chocolate chip cookies. These got a little smash too. Look, you can see the chocolate that's like smeared <laughs> on the, oh man, they're like, they've been in the car for a little bit so now they're kind of gooey and melty my goodness the chewy ones and the ones where the chocolate is melted those are amazing my mom makes these at christmas i have yet to go one christmas without having chocolate chip cookies maybe this year we'll find out but these are super good and chewy and yummy and you can just numb out eating chocolate chip cookies they also have um, white chocolate macadamia cookies, peanut butter cookies. They also have ones with like coconut on top of them. They have some really good flavors. But chocolate chip, if in doubt, just go with chocolate chip because those are simple, they're familiar, and they are really easy to binge on. Okay, I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my free resources below. And if you liked this video, I'm sure you'll like one of the other videos that you see on the screen. Click one of them and I'll see you there.